Oh, old 1020. Two flat tires. Hood and tin's pretty good. Paint's peeling off. A little rusty on the fenders, not bad. This tire holds air, the other one's a little soft. Got an F14 here. Round spoke, 36 inch rear rims, looks like they might be good. Most of the rest of the tractor's still there. Look at I even got it on all the way, almost. Well, the chain is tight. Oh well. That's what followed me home today. There's another load that followed me home today. Two F20s. This back one here looks halfway decent. If the tire wasn't flat and the engine wasn't stuck, it might be good. It's got 1236s on it. Somebody modified the rims a little. That's all there. Now this other old one here, this strictly junk from one end to the other. I don't think there's a good piece on it. Well, here's my last load. An old rusty old 20 with a piece of a hay mower on the back. Looks like we might have some good cast center wheels and front cast center wheels. I might keep them a while. The old tractor's all there, but look at that oil spill down there. They fell a poked the whole oil pan, let all the water out of the oil pan. Well, anyhow, got that on there. Got old John Deere grain drill hanging on here, and a ladder for a guy that left his ladder. Got to, haul, got to do custom hauling. Grain drill almost fit. I cut the tongue off. Turned old things rusty. Dirty. Full of mouse nests. We ain't going to keep it. Well, anyhow, at least I'm not the last one. There's a 706 setting up there still here. And another old grain drill setting over there. Other than that, we'll throw a couple chains on here and go home and be done with it for a day or two. All right, that's all. Well, I got this 20 unloaded. I thought, well, I might as well give it a little once over. Looks pretty good on the front. Front tires are flat. Radiator appears to be good. We've got shutters on the front and uh, carburetors there, choke works. Had a replacement manifold, looks like as good as good as can be. Muffler. Well, we've had about three inches of rain last day or two, so I know it's gotta be have some wet in it, so I'm gonna have to get get on with it. And uh Look how close them rims fits right there. Look there, they had to bend it out so it didn't hit. Somebody took the old narrow rims and made them wider to take these 12 inch tires instead of 6 inches. And uh, old tires got tread on them. And they got little cracks in them. But nothing, nothing appears to be busted. So they might, they might hold up for a little bit. Yeah, I got a bunch of coon poop here in the platform. And, uh, oh, somebody taped the steering wheel. That's a good thing. Got foot brakes on it. And, uh, carburetor brackets. And I noticed here something. Oh, it's cast front and rear wheels. Uh, Fourth gear is right here on the front. And uh, first, second, third back here, reverse, and fourth. 
I don't know, but somebody said that fourth is a high speed transmission. But I don't know how high speed. Probably seven mile an hour instead of five mile an hour or something like that. But uh as overall I think I'm gonna to try to save this one. The old rusty one I unloaded it didn't look too healthy. I'm not gonna mess with it. But uh Oh I gotta put a belt pull you on it I guess to make it all there. And when we was turned around and loaded there the other day the guy turned a little too short and the brakes work on it. So uh so anyhow, that's the what's over on it. I guess I paid a bit much for it, but that's all right. I guess we'll come out in the boys. Oh yeah, I got another. Oh, out there someplace, gotta give me. It's got the high-speed transmission, but nothing else is any good on it. So I guess I don't have to save it anymore. Yeah, I guess it's not quite enough for now. I gotta go there another trip. Make my third trip and get my oh what six tractor I bought, but uh, and a grain drill. But the John Deere 60 that I bought, I pawned it off on another guy and the international plow. I got rid of it. I didn't have to bring it home. So uh, one more trip and I'll be done. And then I get back to work. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube. And we'll try to make this thing run. And we're definitely going to get that 1020 going. All right, that's enough for now.